All right, and we're back with a new episode. Don't know how long I'm gonna keep the session going, but maybe after the owl oh, boss battle. How many coin lockers? My God. I look rain. Let's see if anyone of these will pull me up to try and become a kid a little bit more. Wasted it. Yes. I think the lady dodger can wait, right? Mm, it's right over there, I might as well just go. I might as well just take a taxi. I don't want to fight anyone yet. A little closer now. Different footsteps, ominous. Let's do this. You're not getting away. Oh. 
Yeah, he that can definitely heal probably up quick. For someone else, didn't you? Who? Who killed him? Just give me a little time to gather my thoughts, all right? I promise to give you the answers when I'm finished with what I gotta do. Let's go. <laughs> so, you took the girl. Correct. I was just told that the girl has arrived at our headquarters in Chinatown. Now, about the reward you promised me. A deal is a deal, correct? Yeah, no problem. So, three billion yen to your snake flower triad. Three? Mr. Shimano, you take seven billion? No, we only take five. Then who gets the remaining two? Ah, there you are. Lao, let me introduce you to someone. This is a lieutenant of the Omi family, Tirada. Lao, I've heard a lot about you. He's the one that got us the information about the girl from that idiot Nishki. The Omi family gets the remaining two billion. I see. Well, I understand. <laughs> that dumbass kid, Nishki. He just doesn't fucking get it. He's 20 years younger than me, for fuck's sake. Does he really think he can outsmart me? <laughs> Lao Kalong. I didn't expect the Snake Flower Triad to get involved. Yeah. Don't worry, Kazuma. They may be interested in the pendant, 
but they've got no reason to harm Haruka. Date. Haruka. She's all by herself in that fucking city. Looking for a mother she's never met before. She's only nine years old, yet she's so determined to find her mother. Yeah. When I heard that Haruka was trying to leave me, it reminded me of what happened ten years ago. It reminded me of how I felt. I thought I was doing the right thing, protecting someone very close to me. But when I think about it now, maybe I was just running away from everything. I just couldn't accept what I knew fate had in store for him. I couldn't do it. I didn't have the balls. I should have just let fate take its course. Instead, I twisted his destiny. But then sometimes I think, I was right to fight against destiny. When you're protecting something important to you and the situation becomes desperate, you'll jump over any hurdle, no matter how high it may be. Now that Mizuki's gone, Haruka, I mean, she's just a little girl, trying so hard to survive on her own. If she's going to fight her destiny, I'm prepared to protect her with my life. So, this must be the Snake Flower Triad's hideout. Right. Date, can you check on the police investigation for Haruka? You're going in alone? Yeah, sorry. But in your condition, you'll just slow me down. Ah, oh, fuck it. All right, then. Sorry. Don't go dying on me, Kazuma. How many, sir? Tell La Kaolang that Kazuma Kiryu is here to meet him. Unfortunately, there isn't anyone by that name in this establishment. Um, sir? 